Hello and welcome to FX for a Living. My name is David Aranzabal. Today is April the 6th, 2009. This is your daily London session video. The review will happen in the start of the European session. Okay, today we've got uh, a very thin range market at the start of the European session, but let's move to the 60 minute charts and let's see how we could profit from it. All right, we can see that from the last week, we've got a trending a trending up market but today very early in the morning at the end of the Asian session we can see that MACD was showing divergence so we were expecting al at least a little move to the downside alright let's go to the five minute charts and uh, let's let's see the the resistance and the support of the ASEAN session. For me, the resistance of the ASEAN session is going to be the high of the period between midnight at 7 o'clock GMT. And the support of the ASEAN session is going to be the low of the same range, of the same period of time. Okay, we can see as well that uh, on Sunday we've got a gap in the weekend opening so we can see the price gap it higher for about almost 40 pips the price almost fill it up and start going and trending on the same way okay so we know that we have divergence in the 60 minutes chart and we can see the Asian resistance it was holding the pair quite well during the night and even we start to see MACD divergence as well in the five minute charts as well we can see this ascending trend line it was broken and violated to the downside just at the very beginning of the European session this vertical line is Frankfurt open and this vertical line is London opening. Okay, let's go to the let's zoom in and let's go to the one minute chart so we can realize much better the, the price action. We were expecting a move to the downside, remember? So the price just broke the ascending trend line in the five minute chart and even we we can realize that just bef just after Frankfurt open the price started to make new lows okay actually this was a really good entry point in the breakout and with a stop above the previous swing high more or less about this area we can see that the price bounced up a little bit the stop loss it wasn't cleared it up so we were safe all the time and the price started to go down again starting to make new lows I mean lower lows and lower highs actually I made partial profit around this area for about 20 pips I always like to make a, a partial profit taking because you never know what's gonna happen so as soon as the price it goes it goes on my favor I like to do profit taking because on that way I do reduce the risk of my trade and that's what I did and actually the price it touched the Asian support and it was starting to make divergence on the MACD so this was a really good area or just in the touch of the Asian support or 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 after this retracement it was a really good area to close the rest of the trade even we can see that the price broke the descending trend line so this was alerting us that the price could go on the upside so well it hasn't been a big move we can see the price has been going on range for most of the time but at least we could scalp for at least 30-40 pips so it was not really bad 
Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. I'll catch you up tomorrow. Have a great day.